Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing an update on this single phase generator. As you can see, I have it now running. It is running on the uh, on a P channel MOSFET with my hall sensor over here, a smaller trigger view. I have now the six coils uh, set as drive coils. The six coils I have in there. Um, I've dropped them down. This this one over here. This one you can see little uh, space over there. So these drive coils are closer to the rotor. And at this moment, I'm running it. I'm going to measure it with this because here the voltage is uh, a 250 meter, so it's it's showing yes, like 20 or so. But over here, if I measure it as the capacitor the source capacitor right over there it is now sitting at 18 point yeah let's say 50 the reason why it's fluctuating um, up and down is because I have a dial over here so the back EMF is going back to that source cap and when it comes to amps this is a 5 amp meter that's 1 amp half an amp um, yeah, let's say it's running at 100 milliamp, let's say 150, yeah, something like that. 150 milliamp at 18 volts. The speed is, uh, yeah, it's not Speedy Gonzalez or whatever, but it is running. Uh, I would like to run it at higher voltages, but then I have to... Um, put the whole sensor on a uh, 9 volt battery or something like that because it is uh, max voltage is 24 volts so yeah it's running pretty quiet pretty smooth um, I have here a uh, half a watt LED just gonna shove it in there I have six coils I can use as generators I haven't done that yet, just finished uh, wiring all the crap as you can see over here. I'm gonna shove it in there. Yeah, it is lighting up. So at that speed, that's the light I'm getting. It is flickering a little bit, pretty low frequency. And I can't hear anything going on with the rotor. And looking at the amp meter, I don't see anything at all also, but that doesn't say anything. It's only one coil of course. I will have to do better tests to see if using the generator coils will uh, have effect on the drive side itself. Gonna short one coil with this thing. With uh, <laughs> this thing. Uh, sorry about that, with uh, this plier or whatever, going tweezers, whatever. You get the idea. Shorten that coil now. See if I can get the system to slow down. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Gonna check over here. No, needle stay in the same place. So yeah, this is uh, an update. Good thing I got it running. I'm still using my high uh, resistant coils which weren't there for the generator. Use it then now as uh, drive coils, six of them, all wired in parallel, as you can see here over one, two and three, coming here in parallel, those are coming over here, one, two and three, in parallel also, going to the input of the circuit, my input lines, very simple circuit, just a P-channel, I have better circuit, but for now it's working okay, so yeah, not bad. Next step of course will be to wire some of these um, generator coils. I think I'm gonna put them in series. Yeah, something like that. It's easier in series. And then I can short them all and uh, put them all on a uh, test or load and see what happens. And also I would like to drive it at higher RPM. So I'll have to do something with the whole sensor. Putting it on the knife on battery so it doesn't uh, get blown away yeah uh, yeah that's about it give you a nice view from this side so yeah in a time in a few days time or week or so 
Hopefully I will have it done and will test the um, the complete um, six generator cards. Okie dokie, hope you enjoyed it and as always, thank you for watching.